good morning beautiful people and I know I look crazy but I wanted to start this vlog off by um, one saying hey what's up how's everything going um, two I wanted to start the vlog off by starting meal prep for the week I'm gonna be making stuffed chicken breasts and what else I think spaghetti and meat sauce spaghetti with turkey meat sauce and I think that's pretty much it for the week so I just wanted to show you guys what I did and get started get my day started I have some reading to do and one of my classes is canceled today so it's gonna be a really chill day so come along with me okay so I've wilted spinach in the microwave it's right here and then I have a half cup of sour cream that I'm gonna put in and I have a half cup or a little bit about a, a cup of Monterey Jack cheese that I'm gonna mix together with some garlic and some salt and pepper in a bowl then I'm going to like beat up the chicken breasts and put them inside put the mixture inside of the chicken breast and bake the chicken breasts for about 35 minutes and I think it's gonna be really good so I'm excited how this I'm excited to see how this comes out because it's like my first time trying like a really like fancy way of cooking chicken breast this fit chicken breast to me is really boring and very dry and I really want to like want to try something new and fancier for Tony so let's see how this comes out okay so here's my mixture it doesn't look like much but this is going inside of my chicken breast so hopefully this comes out yummy. I'm excited. Okay, so all done. All right, I wrapped everything. I don't have toothpicks, so I couldn't like toothpick them together to keep them, to have them hold their shape. But I think I did a decent enough job. My hair looks crazy. Um, so yeah, I think I did a decent enough job. I just seasoned the chicken after I rolled everything up. Added uh, some garlic powder, basil, salt and pepper, and that's what they look like. I'm gonna put them into a shallow baking dish, throw them in the oven for about 35 minutes, and then we shall see how they come out. I think they're gonna be really yummy. Um, yeah, that's the first thing I'm doing this morning, just to get it out of the way, and hopefully the rest of the day goes smoothly, so. Just put the turkey meat into my skillet so that it can um, start to cook. I put a bunch of seasonings, some chili powder, garlic powder, oregano, Italian seasoning, red chili flakes, um, and what else did I put in there? And chili powder, yeah, I think I said it already. Salt and pepper, put that in the pan. I'm washing some dishes now while I wait for that to begin to cook. I'm gonna clean up the rest of the kitchen and finish up with the spaghetti and then I'm really done, pretty much done cooking lunch and dinner for him, for, for both of us for the week. So I think it's gonna look, I think it's gonna taste really good and I'm really excited to have, to try everything, see how it all came out. Chef, girl, Arlana. <laughs> Dishes are washed, sink is clean. I just wipe down the counters, light my can, lit my candle, and the turkey is almost done. I'm then going to add my ragu meat sauce, some Parmesan cheese, mix it all together into this pot, make the noodles, and then we are done and set for the week. The turkey is finished, and now I don't know what I want to do. Now I think I'm going to make myself a cup of coffee because I'm in the mood for coffee today. And what else? I have to read, and Tony's cleaning up the bedroom because it is a mess. And yeah, that's pretty much it, I think. Um, yeah, I have some tips for you guys for um, how to read intuitively and prepare yourself for class when you don't have time to take like copious notes. So I hope you guys stay tuned for that. Okay, so here's my turkey meat sauce, and the chicken breasts came out pretty decent, liking how they look. Some of the filling kind of spilled out, but it's whatever. I think it came out pretty decent. We'll see how it tastes later. Okay, so now I have a couple of bills to pay, and 
some more cleaning up to do because these blankets are everywhere. So let me straighten this up real quick. So for those of you who don't know, I when it gets into the colder months in the year, I like to do embroidery projects. Um, it's something that my grandmother taught me when I was a little girl. And so it's basically a design like this. I'll show you what I'm working on. Um, it's like a design like this. So these are like a whole bunch of like colorful different frogs. And what they what I do is it's a cross stitch and you have a bunch of different colors and threads. They come in different colors, obviously. And each it's like a color by number except with red. So each of the colors has a different symbol. And you do a cross stitch, which is like basically a cross stitch is like two threads crossing over each other in the form of an X. And you do and use the symbols, well it's upside down, um, you use the symbols to create the image. So right now you have no idea what this is, um, but by the time I get finished, you guys will, it will be this picture. Um, so right now what you see is the orange and the yellow, which is kind of in the middle right now. So yeah, I like to do this during the winter time because it's relaxing, one, um, keeps me my hand-eye coordination going, keeps me focused, relaxes me. Um, usually like to do it with a cup of tea or coffee um, in between, you know, reading and outlining and all that stuff. So I've been really into doing that for over the past few days. And yeah, so I'm about to pay some bills now. And then I'm trying to figure out what I want to do next. I think I'm going to read and then and knock that out for class tonight. And then, um, yeah, finish straightening up, take a shower, get dressed later, and all that stuff, go to class. So that is the plan for the day. Hey guys, okay, so it's Wednesday evening, and um, I apologize for how sporadic my vlogs have been lately. I haven't been able to just vlog a consistent day, edit it, and then upload it. It's just been, I've been, they've been, the vlogs have been very PC. And I apologize for that because that's not what I try to do. Um, but I wanted to come to you guys and talk to you guys about um, how I take notes in my book. Um, your first and second year of law school, you typically, not even maybe your second, mostly your first year of law school, you tend to brief all the cases that you are assigned to read. Um, and um, that's not necessarily the case uh, once you become a seasoned law student. Um, AKA about to graduate um, and so I wanted to kind of show you guys what I do in my book when I'm preparing for classes and it's possibility of me being called on and I need to be prepared so one second while I pull this up so here is a case for my interle intellectual property class my interle international intellectual property class in this particular case, um, I'm not going to go into the details of the actual case, but what you can see here is I mark in the margins um, important things I need to remember or be able to pull out of the case if I'm asked about them. So likely the professor is going to ask me what the issue is, um, what the holding was, um, a more concise issue, and then what the rule of law is to a certain degree. Um, and then what the specific um, defendant um, argued in their defense, what the court says, and um, also the reasoning the court gives for what the court says. So I have that outlined, one, two, and three here. The court said um, they didn't like extraterritoriality, ter so, and they gave three reasons why they did not. And then what the so I, as you guys get the point like this is how I are how I prepare for class in doing my readings and in the event I'm called on I'm prepared to basically not only say what the case is about but also go into detail about um, the different rule of law how the law is applied and what the parties argued um, given their sides so I hope that was or is a helpful tip for those of you out there who it doesn't even necessarily mean that you have to be in law school to know this, but I definitely would say that it's kind of helpful to have an idea of what um, 
it helps you to anticipate what your professor is going to ask of you and therefore you know kind of what to pull out of the text so as you guys can see I did not highlight absolutely everything I highlight the important points you guys know that from my study tips and notes note taking uh, video that I posted I'll link that down below if you haven't seen it already um, and yeah so that's mainly it I just wanted to show you guys how I take notes and in, in my book and in the margins and it's really helpful and also when I go back to um, add this particular case to my outline it'll be easy for me to outline what the case was about and I can just take and pick apart what I need and put that in my outline so hope that helps with that I'm about to make a quick dinner or heat up dinner anyway I have some spaghetti in the fridge that I'm going to knock down real quick and then I have class in then exactly an hour so after I review this I'm gonna eat and then I'm going to probably end this vlog here so as always don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next video okay all right peace